Dellard. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mix. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Let me out of here, you maggot! Yeah, you think these bars can hold me? You hear me? Boys are coming for me, and when they do, we'll burn this kick town to the ground. Arthur, Arthur. Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. This wall just needs some good forcing. Yes! Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. I knew you were scum the moment I laid eyes on you.
down, you fat sack of crap! Excuse me, you man at Arthur. something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town! You have real... lost it this time. Up here! Come on! is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court just... Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me, sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. Now I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah.
What in the hell? Me, partner. Woo! I was almost a meal there. Good luck to you. Watch out for yellow eyes. I will, friend. I will. Welcome. How do you do? You ready for a clean slate? Thanks, mister. selling okay let's take a look at it thanks partner tailored saddles made to measure look
so fast. <laughs> It's me! Welcome back, Arthur. Once an old Driscoll, always an old Driscoll. What's your problem? I already proved myself. Well, all you proved is, uh... How quickly you'll turn on your friends. No, no, it ain't like that. I, I, uh, I only rode with them for a while. Yeah, you might have Dutch fooled. But, um... <laughs> I'm watching you. Mr. Morgan. It was a heap of trouble, but I got Mike out of jail. Oh, thank you, Arthur. So where is he? Still out round that way, looking for a peace offering, he said. Well, I should get back to it. Okay, Arthur. So lovely. 
gently I her I did say she pulled up her garments so scared it would soil I out with old Phoenix went boring for oil I hadn't been boring six inches or more the oh, oil from my auger so freely did pour she wiggled her ass, looked up and smiled, said, bear down on your auger, for I know you struck all. Things went on and on for a week or ten days. My auger machinery got to fire in some ways. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> hey, Uncle. Can't go wrong with that one. Hey, Arthur. Uncle's drinking again, and the sky's blue. <laughs> Just taking a break. Well, I reckon break's over. Yep. I hear you saved Mr. Bell from a hanging. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I suppose he'd do the same for you. Exactly. We're all in this together, Mr. Morgan. I know you know that. Of course, Miss Grimshaw. How have you been, Arthur? Fine, Mary Beth. You see that Mary Gillis? Sure. I saw her. Get over her, Arthur. Oh, it was all a long time ago. Oh. I hope so. Hello. Hey, Arthur. There he is. How did we end up over this way? Huh? Well, I guess we know the answer to that. See you later. to where we need supplies for an army. How you doing? Good, brother. How are you feeling? Much better. Thought those mountains were gonna kill me. Seems I'll live a while yet. Oh, I know. Found a couple of things in town. Made us some money. You always do. <laughs> yes, I'm good at that. I... Uh... I messed up in Blackwater. I made a goddamn fool out of myself. You done that before. <laughs> I know. Tell him, Arthur. Tell him we're okay now. We're okay, Dutch. Jose is right. We're just getting back on our feet. You'll get us out of this. We are out of this. We need to keep out of it. So what do you think? We need to make some money and find ourselves an escape route, same as usual. But we are making money. And we will find an escape. 
We are gonna be okay. I agree. We'll get some big money and get lost. <laughs> Setting a good example there, Arthur. Mr. Morgan! All right, Javier. Oh, John was looking Uncle? for you, Arthur. He's over by the tree behind the campfire. He was? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay. Come Thank on. you, Miss Grimshaw. Tell old Uncle, what'd you get? I robbed a soldier on the road. Oh, goody. What you been doing? Me? Well, thinking, plotting. You know me. I'm only interested in the big stuff. You say so? Who's gonna join us for a drink, huh? Maybe a little song. Come on, people, this is life! Dutch, you always do. Arthur! Anything I need to worry about? Not right this minute. Okay, good. Okay. Yep. Hi, Arthur. Y'all sure are well supplied. Go through a lot of food in this camp, huh, Arthur? Oh, watch you don't put your back out, Arthur.
Hey, Abigail. Hi, Arthur. Working hard there. Somebody's got to do it. All right, well, don't let me disturb you. Sure. Hey. Arthur. You want to sit, Arthur? Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train? Pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. You joining us? John. Hi, Arthur. Behaving yourself? Of course. All right, well, that's something. Whatever you say. Room by the fire here, Mr. Morgan. All right. You ain't out of it again, are you? I resent the accusation, Mr. Morgan. Well, just making sure you're all right. Certainly. Hey, Javier. Arthur. You ever miss home? Sure. All the time. Must be hard, being so far away. All right, Arthur. John mentioned this train job. He did. Sounds promising. Yeah. We're getting things set up now. Okay, I'll catch you later then. 
All right, then. You okay? Hello. Lots of work to do around here. <laughs> Someone should get on that. You're lucky I'm in a good mood. All right, then. Okay then, girl.
able to help me out again? I could use some assistance gathering herbs for my studies. Uh, sure. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. <laughs> You've been a great help. I've bottled up this tonic for you, and this special elixir will set you right. No matter your wrong, is all the power the natural world can offer. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. That's it. All right, simmer down. Get out of here! <clears throat>
Nice meeting you. Hey, girl. My girl. your horse sounds good whoa hey hey come back oh no oh hey sir could you help me my horse ran away i'll try and catch it sure go on This is really nice of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, accept my thanks as a reward. I won't forget this. Sure, mister. Next time we play off. <laughs> that was some ride. Hey, lady. Bill. Getting real low on meat here. I trust all's well. Good. We really needed this. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan.
John. Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Your husband, is he well? He's dead. Combination of beatings and sickness did for him. My deepest condolences, madam. And mine to you. For all your wretched lives. <laughs> Didn't mean for the fella to die. He was sick, Mr. Morgan. Not our fault. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Okay, Mr. Morgan. Molly, my dear. A new day awaits. How's hey. it going? Not good. You're looking good? Thank you. I good to see. Okay. Ah, okay. Oh, hey, Dutch. 